childhood hanuman ji went ahead and he had a he considering uh, he was very fond of eating so people in this nakshatra are very fond of eating of this you know having a planet in this nakshatra very very fond of good food <clears throat> let it be by you so you see when there is a lot of air blowing you will find uh, you know mm, uh, fruits dropping off the trees and this this nakshatra is associated with a lot of eating also fond of eating bhim son of vayu was again very fond of eating so as a child he was very naughty hanuman ji was extremely naughty a child so people who have uh, you know a planet in their nakshatra this house especially if it falls in your fifth house so for all those people your child will be very naughty yeah even it is said in the mahabharat that when uh, draupadi used to make food for the pandavas then mm -hmm. whatever she would make half, it, half food half go to would go to bhim <laughs> so <laughs> so uh, this hanuman ji what he did was he saw the sh uh, sun shining okay so he, when he saw the sun shining he leapt towards it and he wanted to consume it sun got the fright of his life and uh, so indra came and with his vajra he struck hanuman ji and so what vayudev did was vayudev was very very upset and so he struck an anjani who was the mother of hanuman ji retreated with her son into a cave and vayu devta followed so when you have no air people started falling apart and they started dying and the world was in a state of trahimam or in a state of save us okay so brahma ji had to come and to the rescue and say that okay uh, you will uh, so please forgive and then they bestowed all the devtas bestowed a lot of powers to hanuman ji but there's the disclaimer to it and so there's something that will follow what they said was until you he was a very naughty child in itself so supposing you give a um, literal sense you give a sword to a monkey what happens he goes around creating a mayhem so they said they told him that look uh, we we are going to give you the pass now somebody has to remind you of those past the powers that are given to you somebody ha will remind you of them later and then you will understand the full by the time you would have been mature enough to understand the full consequences of your powers so if i put a small child on a throne okay will it will the child be able to rule properly definitely not it is only a very mature adult who will understand the gravity of the place that he is positioned and then will be able to handle the thing so that is why lord brahma did that and when the time came when uh, during the search of you know the what do i say sita mata came then jamvan who was a he was and he said to be an ape in the army of um, sugriv he started telling hanuman ji as to what the potential was in him what all that he was given as a boon and then he told him that you can jump you can do a lot of things and from there onwards there was the transformation in hanuman ji that he was one of the instrumental part of the win against ravan and his army so just cut a lot of things because we uh, we can just go on and on and on about hanuman ji's role and even today you know for people i am telling you a remedial measure here so you should be very careful the the god that you see sitting right there that is known as panchmukhi hanuman okay panchmukhi hanuman is said to be a very strong break against tantra i know of a place where we do go you know and uh, uh, we can go and that place is said to be very very siddh a place where you can actually have a lot of remedial measures but that's against tantra
when i'm talking about yeah another thing okay. i would like to add here uh, as you said about jambavan so it is said uh, that when they were discussing that who will go to lanka and get the news of sita after sampati said that sita devi is there so everybody was thinking oh then angad said maybe i can jump 90 90 that yojanas but i cannot come back so everybody was giving different uh, measures uh, how much they can jump but mm-hmm. hanuman ji didn't know and then jambavan said that when i was young <laughs> when mm-hmm. paman avatar had come when he had mm-hmm. expanded his size and in one go i had circumambulated him 21 times when i was young <laughs> <laughs> but now yes. i am old i can't even jump 100 yojana so what i have seen is these people uh, they can have very big gurus sometimes and if they yeah. even ask things to their gurus then their problems can be solved and sometimes they need some kind of a inspiration or somebody to remind them not remind yes. exactly but yes. somebody to yes. tell them that yes yes you can do it <laughs> yeah give them a positive input yes and uh, you will they find can also do this to others i have seen yes they can also do this to others yes we see why because anman ji was inspiration to his own brother so yeah another thing i want to ask wanted to ask is there are some people who say hanuman ji's nakshatra was swati or it was mula so what is your opinion on that honestly i have uh, no clue on this i have heard both but some most of the places i think it is swati only it could be it could be because he is the vayudev he is a pavan putra yes he's pavan putra so it could be swati and then um okay another side, another thing is whichever side vayu or his children are on that is the winning side okay. so uh indra devta okay the two devtas indra devta and surya dev okay both born of the same mother aditi okay but in the ramayana what happens is uh, we come to know that in the ramayana surya dev is the guru of after what happened surya dev told that i will i will uh, indra dev hanuman ji goes up to surya dev and says that you travel the world so you the worlds so you know best of everything so i want to learn from you but surya dev says that look i don't mind teaching you but one thing you need to know is that i don't stop so and manji says no worries i will run with your um Daddy. chariots okay as wherever your chariot goes i will also go so while he he gets all his education imparted to him by surya dev on the go at the end surya dev says uh, hanuman ji has learned everything and then he says that what can i give you as a guru dakshina okay today we ask for a fee today we ask that we be paid way in advance because it's kariyu but in those days after the entire education was over the student would have to give something that the teacher asked for Uh, but the difference is the, it's the same thing today now it's it is something that is paid in advance whereas in those time it was something that was given after the teacher taught because in kaliyuga they will it was something not give you if you don't say <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, uh Sun God asks him that uh, Surya Dev says that uh, please do my son Sugriv during the Ramayan he will be born then and I want you to accompany him I want you to be his aid okay so um, at that time it was Sugriv it was in Sugriv uh, army that Hanuman Ji was in and we all know that. bali who was the son of indra was defeated um had taken away the kingdom of his brother so on so for big very big story and but hanuman ji remained with sugriv the crux of the matter is made sure that shri ram fought for sugriv and won the war against and one kishkinda was given to sugriv so where hanuman ji stood by sugriv that is son's son and won the land for him 
again when hanuman ji in the treta yug that was in treta yug when the, uh, dwapar set in when the mahabharata worked out it was bhim who was a pavan putra again who was in the side of the pandavas and hanuman ji was in the flag of arjun's rath so indra had asked him for a favor then and said that i and even bhim had said that i want you to be sitting on my brother's dwaja dwaja means the flag during the war and it is said that wherever hanuman ji is posited like ganesh ji that side wins so the pandavas yes, won and if you take example of bhima who was also the son of vayu he was the one who killed all the 100 kauravas <laughs> Bra- yes <laughs> and yes. the damage he has done it's like nobody has done it catastrophic damage yes so and so it's it's um, so we have now i'll just say one small story of hanuman and bhima there's so much in there you know the stories of hanuman and bhima that we can cover but you know it's already been one hour baba ji <laughs> i don't know how much it is 52 minutes <laughs> yeah. okay so hanuman ji and bhima we have the story of um, bhima they all the pandavas in the dwapar yug have been assigned to um, the the forests okay they have been moved into the forest by the cruel uh, plains of the kauravas so when they are in the forest what happens is uh, bhima is always now they are they had to undergo a lot of turmoil they have to undergo a lot of um, bad uh, what should i say scenario bad uh, they had to live in the forest a lot of changes in life and living with a lot of humiliation because of what they suffered uh, by the kauravas in their in the court of Has- not hastinapur yeah hastinapur yeah. hastinapur not uh, this uh, in the press so in hastinapur they had to face a lot of humiliation so they had to live with all that and in in uh, the forest not even in cities and things like that so very difficult life but they had to make themselves strong and with a lot of practice with a lot of um, fortitude they had made themselves strong but but there was some uh, power which was getting on to bhima's head okay and arjuna's head also but arjuna's is a different story in bhima's head so and then he wanted to go into the forest uh, to get something from the opadi opadi had desired something so he goes into the forest as he moves into the forest he sees a monkey a very weak monkey with a very long tail lying and when he sees that he you know in those days it was sacrilege to even today if you see the elders they will tell you don't use your feet to touch anything you know children generally we, even if you have to remove the slippers bend down to remove the slippers bend down to remove the slippers so what they did was what he did was that um they will not touch anything with their feet so if you have um say there is some you know even some dust not dust actually some waste which is thrown on the strewn on the roads people you know just with their legs or they with the feet they try to put it to a side or things like that elders won't even allow that it's said to be a, a kind of um what do you call apman it's kind of a, insult to that being in fact when i was young i was not even allowed to use my uh, feet to close drawers or to doors or you know if you have a switch down there and you want to put it off with your feet it was not allowed yeah that is because uh, one of my seniors had told me this that because whenever you are touching something with the feet you are activating your 12th house <laughs> so oh. that thing is going away from you and in india you will see whenever you touch something with the feet you will always touch it with the head like this yeah that is because you are saying now i am taking it back to the lagna i am taking it to the me which is the head the first house so that thing remains with you if you do that and regarding yeah that is like crossing somebody they say that it's like because god resides in everybody's heart 
so it's if you are crossing god it, it that person is like you are crossing his temple so that is why it's like totally prohibited to cross somebody yeah absolutely so uh, i i mean so anyways we were always not allowed so uh, you are not allowed to cross uh, not to allowed to cross or not to touch with your feet now so uh, beam comes and he sees bang in the middle of the road there is this, this this small pagdandi or a small you know path through uh, for walking and bang in the middle there is this person who is lying so uh, this weak feebling of a monkey so he says get out of my path you know he uses a very rough language as i told you if this nakshatra is afflicted people can use rough language and beam was also said to get very angry very quickly beam was said to have got angered very quickly and have have said to have used very rough language also at times so he said move out of my path so this monkey feebly said Do you please remove my tail and make your way so beam is like funny monkey and he sits and he just like very uh, with a lot of disdain he tries picking up the you know the tail he sees he cannot pick up with one hand it's like he's astonished and he then tries two hands and he's all the more astonished that he cannot pick up he tries all his past for time immemorial then he realizes that this person is not a normal monkey is definitely something more and then he strikes him and he holds his feet and says elder brother please forgive me and then hanuman ji comes to his form and says that you may be strong but there's someone who's always stronger than you so it's very important to be humble so for people in this nakshatra let me tell you one thing here is a warning for you when you grow beyond your feet beyond the shoe you know when you go beyond a stature when you stop being humble you will always have to come back okay because this is what hanuman ji is also trying to tell us and then hanuman ji in that case after teaching him a lesson imparts him with the knowledge and tells him what you have to improve to become uh the pandavas in the the battle which is going to happen after the 13th year and he also uh, gives him a boon so he says the boon that i want from you is that you be in our side in the battle of mahabharat so he says okay i will be on your side i will be sitting in form of a monkey in the dhwaja or the flag of the chariot that would be arjuna's okay yeah, and, and he, some sources also say that that monkey that flag which was there that was so ferocious to look when kauravas would come near to arjuna's chariot when they would see that they would feel as if we will die now <laughs> if we don't go away from here <laughs> so, uh, so just uh, pause okay so you know uh, and it is said that there would be garjanas or roars that could be heard from that flag you know and it was enough to bring about a fear in the heart of the bravest of the enemy so let's see lord alfred tennyson mars in his fifth house of publication mars if people do not know is also ink lord alfred tennyson was an english poet laureate by queen victoria he was known for his poems you know tennyson beauty sheer beauty of his words if you read his poems beautiful poems very beautiful poems he was the first to be raised to a british peerage for his writings and he was not very comfortable of that fact in fact he just took that post to secure his child's future okay and Mars is again the eleventh house of gains in Swati Nakshatra, creating a very strong sense of self, but again a very humble attitude. If you've seen uh, Shah Rukh Khan also, because he's a classic case of the Swati Nakshatra, he's always saying that Khuda ki naayat, you know, it's it's the grace of the God. 
in all his interviews he says by the grace of god he doesn't take too much of uh, you know par on to himself even steven spielberg a very humble man a very very humble man according to the stature that he is in bold and upfront like bhima and also arjuna uh, sorry hanuman ji that's our priyanka chopra she has jupiter in the sixth house of discipline and jupiter is the eighth lord of transformation the 11th lord of gains she's moved to hollywood also one another successful actress making her way to hollywood okay and not just that again as i said she is uh, this nakshatra is associated with a lot of charity she does a lot of work philanthropic work and she is also associated with unicef okay and women empowerment and she is very vocal about gender equality and gender bias and she's come a long long way she won the miss world uh, competition then uh, she her father which who was a doctor in the army okay and from there on her beginning is substantial substantial is not the word okay rahu the lord of the nakshatra is again in the adra nakshatra again it's rahu rule nakshatra and you have in her 10th house the sri lagna 10th house of profession so she was supposed to be yeah i have heard hey, hi. The 10th house has the sri lagna or the 10th lord is conjunct with sri lagna then you get a lot of parks and the thing is very easy <laughs> yes in a professional life yes so now uh, i have already told you that the son might make a headline better than the father because of hanuman ji has a better recognition than vayu devta himself so we have rd burman here who was an indian film uh, score composer he was one of the most influential music directors of his times and he was called pancham because it is said that probably cried in you know in the fifth note of the the you know the seven seven notes and his father though was much more inclined towards the regional movies had a very had a good foothold in the in uh, bollywood but he had a phenomenal gain in bollywood that was rd burman okay and he has his moon the 12th lord of international fame and in the third house of creativity with rahu again which is the nakshatra lord and he made her a way far more impressive far more substantial far more influential than his father firm in their convictions they stand by you know the lot of things that i have not uh, talked about about hanuman ji and uh, so they are very firm in their convictions jnas sai he was the one who discovered his uh, polio vaccine then polio vaccines polio was actually killing the world and he did it for free instead of um, become you know he instead of uh, patenting it had he patented the polio vaccine this man could have actually built an empire because every country was dying to pay for that vaccine but he said that can you patent the sun you can't so how can you patent something that will save lives and he just gave it away okay sun is the 11th lord of gains it's debilitated here so his morals and values and ethics hanuman ji is also known for his moral values you know humility morality a lot of all these things are affected by you know the do's and the don'ts so he did that as was his need and desire and vishakha again okay so i'll just uh, take you through the symbol and then i think we can move to the remedial measures because we have uh, taken up a lot of things in this 
symbol is the shoot of a plant it's fragile it's delicate it's agile it's growth oriented and there's a need to establish independence you know when you see a plant coming out from the shoot no matter how small it is it proves it tells the universe i am here to grow and grow further it's very tenacious when you sometimes you know even the most delicate of plants you will see when you pick out they have very long roots so they don't and they don't let go of the mud very easily have you seen a child holding a, a small baby newborn baby holding a, a finger somebody's finger you put a newborn's uh, finger in a newborn's baby's palms and they hold it so tightly so tenaciously that's the way this root holds on to as a solitary nature it has you know they want their own independence so i move on and again uh, individualistic attitude i'll just take to file granger he was an american actor best known for his collaboration with director alfred hitchcock okay and he was a bisexual okay and he never felt the need to hide his sexuality way back in the 1950s when there was a very big moral uh, taboo attached to being a bisexual or being a homosexual but he wanted to establish his identity he never went and hid the fact that he was a bisexual and you have saturn in the 8th house of transformation and sexuality and it is the 12th lord of bed bed pleasures but you see the saturn is very administrative saturn is very strict it's very disciplined and it has a periphery but this is a retrograde saturn so and moon is the mind sixth lord of creativity sorry fifth lord of creativity it's the mind mind is the one anything that happens happens in the mind mind is also moon is also desires so his desires were of a different orientation and he did not hide that fact energetic again free will different approach to life again ramakrishna paramahansa he has his saturn which is the 12th lord placed in the 9th house of luck uh, 9th house of luck ramakrishna paramahansa was though he was a priest born in a brahmin family but his approach towards god was not only with the mantras and the tantras he was like all encompassing for him ma as he called kali was all encompassing she was everything around she took every form around him okay and saturn is also the 12th lord of the unconscious wherein you merge with the universe and it's also the lagna lord so it's showing that the lagna and the saturn in this very peculiar thing that you will find with the aquarius people they have the ability to tap into the resources of the universe okay so now tenacious speed and agility again we have jin throp who was an american indian indian american okay uh, so of an indian origin an american with an indian origin and he was supposed to be one of the greatest athletes of the world he won so many awards but his awards were stripped off because later on the people said that he was i do not know for what reasons honestly that he was a professional player much after his death his rewards were given back to his family and said that it was a wrongly accused but by that time lord had happened again jupiter the eighth lord of transformation is sitting in the sixth house of service job litigations he also had a lot of marital issues but he was said to be the speediest of all the players of his time greatest athlete princess anne she has a love for horses then prince william the heir apparent to the throne of uk united kingdom he has a retrograde i take up this chart very much because we are going through a lot in um, the swati nakshatra 
Jupiter is being retrograde. If you see, it's the eleventh house of spouse and family. It is during this time only that Prince William had his third child. So it's a Jupiter return for him, and that's a retrograde. So people have a lot of fallacy about retrograde, and I'll take this opportunity to, uh, you know, tell you that a retrograde planet is not a bad planet. It is just as if you've heard uh, in an interview with James Braha saying on uh, retrograde, he says that it is your desire. It is an independent. It, that planet gives you an ability which you need to tap into. A retrograde planet. And when, when in transit, if you have a retrograde planet and in transit. That planet becomes retrograde. Say for now, people who have a retrograde Jupiter anywhere in the chart. So if Jupiter becomes retrograde in in transit, so that is the time for those people to have actually events being fulfilled, as opposed to those people who do not have a retrograde planet in their chart. So five months out of the twelve months, people who have a retrograde Jupiter. Will show great ability to get work things done, as opposed to the seven months when the people with direct Jupiter in their chart can do. So nature always balances things out. Okay, and he's the Duke of Cambridge. He's the heir apparent. Uh, he's the elder son of uh, Charles, Prince of Wales, and Lady Diana, late Lady Diana. She is the She was the Princess of Wales, and it were he is since his birth has been the second to the line of the British throne, right after his father. Jupiter is the fourth lord of, um, you know, home. It's also the Lagna lord. It's sitting right there in the eleventh house of gains. Eleventh house is said to be one of the most uh, beautiful houses, a house which gives a lot, which has a lot to. Offer. It's also a futuristic house. Prince William was the first prince in is the first prince in the uh, known history of the throne of UK to have married a person who has not been from a royal lineage. So he has been different. He has broken the mold. That is what retrograde. Planet does it breaks the mold, and since it has been his retrograde Jupiter return, there has to be an event happening. So when, uh, if I'm not mistaken, Bhavaji, you only told me that you know uh, Jupiter is also going retrograde, and his child is also being born. Yeah, that I saw charts being posted. I think Moon was in Pushya with Rahu there, and Rahu yeah. was in Ashlesha then, of course. And his asc- okay. ascendant was also in Pushya. I guess this is what I remember. That's all. Yeah, but but, but Jupiter had already started going retrograde then. Yes, I think so. Yes. In April. Went long back retrograde. Went retro in March only, right? Nine yes, March. and so it was time this time for you know an event to happen as relates to his fourth house, as relates to his lagna, and it relates to his. Um, You know the uh, return, Jupiter return. A lot of things happened as regards spouse and family. Uh, his brother got married during this Jupiter return, retrograde return. That's again the fourth house of family. As Lagna, he also has had uh, per, as a person he's taken on much more responsibilities than what he was due to in this year. That you would read about. So there is a transformation and retrograde. What I wanted to tell you about was when we were doing, uh, you know, about retrograde planets. Is retrogrades are not bad. Okay, and his wife is not behind. At the Duchess of Cambridge, she is growth oriented, known as one of the hundred most influential. Uh, people in the world by Time magazine, she, you know, she has had a very strong impact on British and American fashion industry, and she's—it's been called the Kate Middleton effect. 
in the media. And Jupiter, which is the sixth lord of discretion, because she's a Cancer ascendant, so is sitting right there in her fourth house of home and homeland. Okay, and Jupiter is also the ninth lord of power. It's also luck. It's also administration. And we know that Jupiter is sitting in the fourth house of security, love, affection. And she's said to be very affectionate, not just to her. She's said to be one of the uh, mothers who have fallen into the footsteps of her mother-in-law, a very affectionate towards her children, very, very um, mother motherly disposition, and also being affectionate to her brother-in-law and, you know, the royal family as such. And she's also very growth in uh, oriented. So we'll move into another symbol, which is coral for this nakshatra, touching basis. Planet that rules this nakshatra is Rahu. It's a very fierce planet. It's a very intense planet. And it is much into illusion and trickery. But one, when Rahu is moving into a higher octave, see, we all say that uh, Rahu is a bad planet. I wouldn't deem it as a bad planet. Uh, illusions are a part of it, definitely. But, uh, you know, Rahu as a planet can also take you to great heights of spirituality. In the 8th house, it can give you a lot of sadhana. If it's working on a lower octave, it can make you extreme, you know, uh, those sexual fanatics that you have and um, those crazy people. But if it is moving on a higher octave, the amount of sadhana that it can take you under is phenomenal. So it's not... I just uh, want to tell you that it's not the planet. It's also your free will that can move you into a different path. We know what each nakshatra has to offer. So we need to be aware as to which turn, what we need to do, because the karma is still in our hands. So we need to be aware of what we can do to move it into a better height. Okay. So... Let's move into the professions. So the professions associated with this uh, nakshatra are business, men, singer, percussionist, navigators, professions relating to aviation industry. We've seen all this. Computer software work, ones who are good teachers, preachers, lawyers, people in adventure sports, etc. Auspicious activity is grooming, acquiring vehicles, pump and show activity because related to Rahu and Vayu, there's a lot of pump and show in this nakshatra also. Business activities and education activities is great here and so are social activities. Vishnu Sahasranam, I have always stated that the best thing that you can do and I would I do it personally so I can tell you this, that when you are um, practicing the, the shloka as per your Chandra Nakshatra and Chandra Pada, the Pada of the Nakshatra that Chandra is in, for any of the Nakshatras, it yields very good results. And I have seen in very close family people, the people who are devoted to the Vishnu Sahasranam, practicing it every day, do attain a very, you know, we all are working towards a very easy death. For all who visit hospitals, because we all humans, we at one time have visited hospitals and we do not want to go to hospitals. The mere thought of dying a very prolonged death after a very prolonged illness can give you jitters. Vishnu Sahasranam gives you a very happy and a peaceful ending. Remedial uh, is... The gods and goddesses are for people who want to, uh, you know, visit in India. You can contact the Tateeswara uh, temple, and uh, which is there in Tirumannam. It's near Chennai, and you can have go there, check out this nakshatra lord, and ask for blessings for pardon anything that you need. Fantastic. <laughs>
<laughs> Amazing. I always wanted to see this because this is more in relation to Hanuman ji and Bhim also. There's so many stories about Hanuman ji that can you know that can be incorporated and you can learn so many values of this nakshatra. Unfortunately for us, because we just do one uh, nakshatra and we take up you know. Uh, because this is not a regular class that i hold so it's like it's one hour one hour 10 minutes for uh, one nakshatra so we cannot uh, go on expounding on so many stories that you generally have to do in a class but then this nakshatra has so many associations with hanuman ji and vayudev that the stories can be endless yeah and another thing uh, i have noticed sometimes that hanuman ji as it is said he was only told that you go and find sita devi he was not told that you go and burn the lanka <laughs> that is something he did extra out of his own free will so, yeah and these people go to an extent when they do extra out of free will you know they will go to any extent to help others also so it's it's a done thing with this nakshatra and and in the process get burnt in court <laughs> and also <Seriously>? burn others. <laughs> it happens in their rage they might burn others but uh, you know uh, you know hanuman ji when he even was burning the city he made sure that every child every woman was spared it's written in the uh, it's written in the ramayana and he also and ensured Vibhish, that vivishan's house is not burned this was not touched even a leaf of his garden was not touched Fantastic. so if you are a devotee if you are a devotee you will be protected by pavan putra especially if you have a planet in this nakshatra but that needs you to have a very strong association with your inner beliefs so which is the next nakshatra we should do i think the coming eclipse is on punarvasu so i think punarvasu should be on target <laughs> <laughs> oh i love this nakshatra anyways you um, for people who really want to do the first nine nakshatras my course is on and they can always uh, come but yes punarvasu we will definitely touch ground on that and you were also time. talking of the book yes so uh, if you want the next book that i uh, plan just like all you want to know about pushya the next book that is in the planning is all you want to know about swati which is which has uh, more stories more details so if you are interested please do write in and i'll make sure that when the book is done they fairly priced at around you know 150 200 rupees so okay take the book nice fantastic it is i hope till jupiter leaves swati everybody will finish watching this video <laughs> <laughs> and i hope i'll finish uploading at least okay we right. see, we will be able to i'm sure you, i have uh, you know a lot of faith in your abilities till we meet yeah. again bhavajit yeah. thank, thank you so much. very much for inviting yes thank you thank you